Hey, welcome to another Careerist video. My name is Sophia and I'm a special projects manager here with Careerist. If you'd like to know more about Careerist, we did just recently release a video about our company. But to give you a little recap, we are an online career training platform pioneered by industry experts to maximize the students hiring opportunities. Um, and our mission is to provide access to high demand and high paying careers in tech. So we're kind of like the fastest way to help you get a job in tech. We train you, then we help you find the job. We're kind of like the in-between mediators, mediators and everything. So um, to go back to what this video is about, it's going to be about QA. If you have no idea what that is, that is totally OK. QA stands for quality assurance. Um, the position in the career workforce field or whatever is called uh, QA software engineering, QA analyst, quality assurance, or software testing. It goes by many names, but if you're looking for it on Indeed or Glassdoor, those are some of the titles that you could be searching for. But today in this video, I'll be describing more on what this position consists of and how you can become one if you're interested with the help of careerist. So to kind of explain to you what QA is, right? So the definition is prevent errors and defects in software by continuously testing the products and reporting issues. It's a continuous process of reporting issues. When when you see an issue, it is actually called a bug report. And, you know, usually you send those back to the developers. So an app or a product, it could be a website, it could be an app right on the phone, it could be a dating app, it could be an Amazon shopping app. It really doesn't matter. These things kind of like flow from computer to your to your phone um, but anything that has code involved you should should also have a qa tester involved as well people oftentimes have heard of gaming gamer testers usually there's like a lot of bugs in gaming especially the first ones where you know you just fall through a hole and you're in the abyss anyways i'm getting off topic if you're on the qa you know trying to figure out the testing and um, you're checking someone's shopping app Let's imagine we're shopping on Amazon. You add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, and then you're ready to make the purchase, right? Proceed to checkout. You hit proceed to checkout and everything in your cart gets wiped clean. And now you have to restart. That would be really frustrating for the customers, for the client. You could lose many clients and customers that way. So that is why QA, the testers, are like the first users, the initial people to kind of look at the product before it gets released to everyone else. And some of these things get need to be continuously, you know, like there's certain updates that come out and all these things. And before they get released to the public, it should, you know, be continuously tested by QA. I hope that helps you explain kind of what testers do. You basically have to report any issues, any inconsistencies. And um, for these kind of positions, you have to have really great attention to detail. You should know that you need to kind of like describe it, be really good in communicating with the developers who are coding it. So basically, sometimes you need to replicate that process over again, um, go back, see how this issue occurred so that you can kind of explain the process to the developer. And then, you know, in the best ways you could. So if you're a great communicator, great, you know, speak not speaker but like you can explain yourself very well um by f and being kind of nitpicky and like detail oriented and like perfectionist and like hey this image or you know this angle is a bit off and like you know or th this shouldn't be overlapping um basically careers can teach you the details and the specific terminology and everything of how you can communicate better and say that but if you already feel like hey i find issues all the time anywhere i search through an app through anything and this could honestly be super simple for you. You don't need any technical background or experience. You don't need to know coding at all, um, but it's actually the fastest way for you to get into tech. The first position would you would start out as could be a junior QA. Then you could level up from there to be a mid-level QA. And from there, you could branch out to be a QA lead or an automations QA. From automation QA, you can go into dev DevOps and uh, be like in a developer role or be like a project manager. All of these things you kind of like from there can branch out and decide what you wish to do but qa tester you need no background absolutely you just have to have an eye be specific be very good at communicating and you just find report you find the issues you report them you send that bug report and you send it back to the devel developers they try to they modify it fix it send it back to you you again you test it you try it, you see if it's working great and then you move on to the next issues 
So I believe that would be the sum of kind of what QA is. And the benefits of other benefits of working in manual QA, if you've never considered it, but now you're like, hey, that sounds super simple. What what else is good about it? The super cool thing about it is it's got great compensation. Actually, if you're looking at Indeed or um, Glassdoor and you're looking for, hey, what's the average starting salary of a QA is 86,000 per year at the time of me making this video. Um, the other working benefits is it is super easy to learn, um, especially with careers with us. We have taken out all the water, all the junk, and we will teach you exactly what you need to know on the job within just a couple of weeks or 15 about weeks as of making of this video again. Um, so yeah, very great compensation, many QA job openings. Um, you can work remotely so you can have a work-life balance by being able to find, you know, a job remotely and travel and kind of set your own schedule. Not really, depending on the company. But um, yeah, you don't need a sign computer science degree. There's definitely a ton of opportunities for career growth. And again, it's the shortcut to getting into tech, which is, you know, you can have financial freedom from that by, you know, uh, being able to manage, you know, how you earn, how you travel, all of this, taking care of your family. It's definitely the easiest and the best way. Forbes, I believe, says this is one of the top happiest careers to be in. So definitely check it out. All right. So now that I went over about the QA career itself. Now, if you're interested to kind of pursue it further, what is it like to study with careerists? So first is you'll be trained by some of the top industry experts. They've worked in companies like Apple, Meta, Facebook, Google, all of the above that you can name. We have those kind of teachers here for you. The second is um, an internship with references. So it's real companies. You will get experience. You can use that experience, um, uh, you know, when you're applying and looking for a job on your interview process. The third op is convenient online sessions. So, you know, it's usually in the evenings after work. You can kind of do this on the side. Um, we also have one-on-one -on -one mentorship until you get a job if you are following all the instructions of your teachers and the mentors and they will be assisting you with how to create your LinkedIn profile, your job, other job search account profiles and creating the perfect resume for you that you can then um, send out with our actual job application assistance software to quickly get interviews lined up. And we also help you to prepare for those interviews. So um, we help you send out those applications real fast with MyJazz. And um, yeah, then you can come back and be like, hey, I got an interview, guys. Um, can I practice with you guys? Jump on a call with our mentors and they will walk you through exactly how to ace that interview. We can help you with negotiating that salary as well, which is pretty convenient. And the benefit is that all these training courses, um, all the training videos, you will have a lifetime access to. All right, so this is a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go visit our website, careers.com to find out more information, check out our blog and read some of our success stories from graduates who, you know, maybe were in a position just like you are right now. Um, you can email us advisors at careers.com or give us a phone call and um, all the details and everything can be linked in the description. So check out the description, uh, leave us some comments and questions and, yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, follow, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you learned something new. Bye-bye.